So there seems to be some uh, conflicting information about how you download a Japanese book from the Amazon store to a Kindle. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick video showing what worked for me. So the first thing you've got to do is go to the Amazon Japan store, amazon.co.jp, as you can see up top, um, and create an account. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. The only thing you've got to be careful of is you've got to use a different email from the uh, email that you've used for your non-Japanese account if you have one. Um, because if you use the same one, when you try and log into a uh, Kindle or a Kindle app, it's going to try and log you into the, the other account and you won't actually be able to log into this one. So use it a different email. Doesn't seem to matter about the password. I use the same one and I can log in fine. Okay, so if, once you've got an account, you go to the Amazon store and the next thing you need to do is go to uh, accounts and lists. And you go down to your content and devices. Okay. And once we get in here, there's just a couple of settings that we need to change. Uh, so you go into preferences. And the main one we want to change is our country and region settings. We want to make sure it's on Japan and put in any random address. So you can look up um, any address on uh, Google Maps or whatever. It doesn't really matter what's in here. Okay. And from there, the only thing, other thing you need is to have a payment method in there. Um, now, you don't need to have a Japanese credit card. Uh, I put in a non-Japanese one. It works fine for um, purchasing. Okay. So from there, I can look for whatever book I want. There's a book I'm looking for called Oshimoyu. So this is a book I discussed in another video, Sayuri saying, where we discuss the meaning of Oshi and how it gets used in this book. You can look at that video. I'll put a link to that as well. And from there, all you do is click submit order, pay for the item. Next, you can go across and log into your uh, Kindle app or Kindle device. And there it is. It's in there. Now that's all fine. It's straightforward enough. The only really annoying thing is you can't be logged into um, both your non-Japanese Amazon account and your Japanese uh, Amazon account on one device. So each time you log into your Kindle or your Kindle app, it's going to put on all of the, the Japanese stuff and delete the stuff that was there before or vice versa. Uh, so that's really quite annoying if you're, if you're trying to read in your native language and in Japanese. There are some workarounds that you can do for this. Um, so one involves re removing um, DRM software and using Calibri software and the uh, Kindle preview software and sort of um, hacking it a little bit. So I'll put a link to how you can do that if you want to do that. There's a great video by Matt versus Japan that um, outlines that. It's not for the faint hearted though. Um, Apparently, and I haven't tried this other way, apparently you can um, link your JP Amazon account to your non-JP um, Amazon account. But the reason I haven't tried it is because the inf information I have seen says that if you do that, you're no longer able to purchase items on the non-JP account and you can't unlink them later. So it doesn't seem like a great solution. Anyway, the other solution, of course, is to just have the um, JP account logged in on one device and have the non-JP on another, not ideal. Okay, so if you're interested in Japanese culture and um, deep dives into language and culture, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.